hello everyone so now we are going to do one lab if you remember in our previous class we done the dscp lab in that one what we done we taken the dscp server here if you see we taken the server in this server we taken the services and we configure that one and we use that one as a dscp server now we can learn how we can configure the router as a dscp server if you see here this is the router in this one i can take this this is the router and let me create a small scenario i will take one switch this is one switch i have one router and then we will take some pcs if you see this is the some devices i am going to take three pc and one laptop and now we are going to connect to the switch this way we will connect and this switch is connected to one router now we are going to learn how we can configure this router as a dscp server dscp server okay and this server we will have the ip 192.168.1.1 so this is the ip address we are going to use for this server now we need to learn how we can configure the dscp server this router how we configure this router so router should give the ip to our end devices so now we are going to do that lab okay so let me log into the router this is a cli of router here i am going to do the configuration so this is a router here i am going to do i will write here no and then i will go enable config t i will give the name of the router as a dscp you can give any name i am giving dscp if you see i have this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so i will assign the ip to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 IP address I will give 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.0 and I will write here no shirt so this way we will give the IP address to the interface in the router now we are going to do the DSCP configuration now I will write IP DSCP pool and we can give any name I can give ABC in this one we are going to define what is a gateway for gateway we will write default router then we will give the ip of the gateway so imagine we will give the ip of the gateway is the same ip which we are using for our dscp server same ip of the router so this is a gateway of the all the end devices now i will give the network and whatever the range we want to give i want to give 192.168.1.0 and then i can write 255.255.255.0 so this way we can configure the dscp server now our dscp server is ready we configure dscp server in the router we can check now it is working or not we can check if you see here configuration is finished this is only the configuration which we do now we can go to this computer go to the ip configuration select the dscp wait for some time see you get the ip 192.168.1.2 192.168.1.1 is a default gateway so it is working perfectly let me try for another machine if you see here it will also work after few seconds it is working perfectly let me go here and do that one same thing if you see it is working perfectly let me go here and check here it is working perfectly okay so this way we configure the dscp server i hope it is clear let me show you again what configuration i done this is only the configuration let me keep somewhere so you can use okay so let me put here in the notepad you can join our telegram channel in that one we are going to share all this configuration okay in our telegram channel in our telegram channel so see this is the configuration what we done this is a configuration i will paste here so i can give you this join our telegram channel we are going to share this topology in our channel, telegram channel so if you need this config file that is this uh, packet tracer file and this configuration join our telegram channel in that one you will get all these files and other files also in case if you face any issue whatsapp us we are going to support you so this is the basic configuration we use to configure the dscp in the router so what we learn in this lab we learn how we can configure the dscp server in the cisco router okay